In this video tutorial, we're going to look at Microsoft Excel 2016 and using the descriptive statistics function in the data analysis tool pack. So I have a little sample data set up here. It's just 12 months of demand for chocolate chip cookies. And so I'm going to go over here to the data tab at the top of my menu. And I see I have my data analysis tool pack enabled. If you don't, there's a separate video to remind you how to go through file options, add-ins, and activate this function. But uh, you should already have that in by now. So if you click on data analysis, it brings up the set of tools that come for doing additional statistical analysis. So you'll recognize many of these. In this case, we're just going to use the uh, descriptive statistics, which I already have highlighted here. So click on those and say OK. Unlike many uh, Excel programs, in the data analysis tool pack, you normally select the data after you uh, initiate the tool. So this little uh, wizard comes up, and we're able to identify our data. Now, in this case, we're just trying to do a descriptive of the data, so the mean, the average, the median, those kind of things. So I'm not going to worry about the titles, except I'm going to grab my chocolate chip cookies so, um, so I know what the data is related to. So I highlight that. In, uh, it'll default to columns normally, but in this case, our data is a row, so I'm going to tell us that it's a row. I'm going to make sure that I have the labels in first column clicked on because my chocolate chip variable is right there. And then it's going to choose where it's going to put the summary once it creates it. Now it's going to default to new worksheet tab or new worksheet ply, which is fine. It'll come down here at the bottom. Uh, if you want to have it land right here in your spreadsheet, then you can just put output range and highlight a portion of your uh, spreadsheet so it'll dump it there. But we'll let it go to a new range. Be sure that it's clicked on down here, summary statistics. That'll actually give us the measures that we want. So labels on. Summary statistics on, selected my data, and I included the title of uh, what my variable was all the way across. Hit OK. It's going to come back. It moved us over to a new tab, defaulted in my case to calling it Sheet 3. I'm going to make these columns a little bit bigger so I can actually read them. And we've got our statistics. So we know what the mean is uh, of those 12 months is 42.52. The standard error, the median, standard deviation, so some basic statistical measures. The sample variance, which probably will have no value for us. The kurtosis and skewness tell us uh, how this data compares with a normal distribution. The range is the largest value to the smallest value. The min and the max, there's our largest and smallest value. So our biggest month was 5303, and our smallest month was 2339. The sum of those, so the 12 months worth of demand, are 51029, so 51,000 cookies. And 12 means that there were 12 values, and that's right for our 12 months. So the descriptive statistics give us a quick snapshot just to check the validity of our data, make sure there's no um, outliers impact. Um, pounded in there or uh, something to throw us off, like a min that was in the negatives or a max that was off the charts. So it just gives us a quick check to make sure that our data is what we expected. And our data is still over here. I'm going down to the bottom on the regular tab. So make sure that you're able to run those using data analysis tool pack and that you're able to kind of explain what some of those mean about your data.